Welcome to the Stogie Palace. I am your host, Chris. Today I have the Asylum 13 Ogre. What makes it the Ogre? It's that barber pole of Habano and Candela and the binder and filler from Nicaragua. This is a 5x50 Robusto. Another new camera. <laughs> Uh, full strength. Uh, the regular Asylum was rated as medium to full, but I did a little more research on this one and it's full strength. I've had this for about two months. Once again, I got this from a friend on from Facebook, Austin. The Baron Maddox. This is made in Honduras. It's got a, a sweet smell to it. Kind of reminded me a little bit right there, like old pipe tobacco from way back. I smelled it with my grandpa. But it's also got a tobacco obviously in barnyardy manure kind of smell to it a little sweetness there too never had candela in my life before so uh, this will be a first so cigars international says years ago christian aroa and his 94 rated camacho family of brands Conquered Honduras. Today he's out to conquer Nicaragua. Enter the Asylum, a gorgeous boutique lovely showcasing the very best Nicaragua has to offer, let alone the raw blending talents of Aroa himself. Asylum 13 Ogre certainly is eye catching. The first thing you'll notice is the highly unique Habano and Candela barber pole wrapper. No chance of flying under the radar while enjoying this one. The second thing to catch your eye will probably be the massive sizes. Other than the traditional 5x50 Robusto, this baby goes big and it ain't messing around. The blend itself is Nicar Nicaraguan Puro and is very similar to the original Asylum 13 with a complex full body array of flavors that are sure to satisfy. If you've been looking for something unique, then you're in luck because you just found it. This is a very tightly packed, snug, uh, snug draw, tightly packed, got some heft to it there. We got the uh, V cut going on there. Hmm. Smoke off the foot there's a little different smelling. I suspect as I go through that uh, candela part of the barber pole, I'm going to be picking up some new, new flavors and sensation I've yet to experience. The first one I got this in the mail, I just saw, you know, the Asylum 13 on there. So I did some research on it and pictures just didn't match up. And I go, something's different about this. And that green told me Candela, which the idea behind Candela, green tobacco, less fermented, less aged, doesn't really jump out as something that I think I would like. But... I'm willing to give anything a try, especially when a friend sends it to me for free. Very tight. That's a deep cut, and there, there is smoke coming out of the cap area there. Plenty of smoke coming off the foot. I like this size. It's probably, the, it's probably my favorite size cigar, 5x50. Not too long, not too big. I'm getting a decent amount of smoke off of it, that's for sure. Peppery. But yeah, once it starts transitioning to that green, we'll, we'll see what happens. So stay tuned. We'll keep on moving. Well, about 23 minutes into this Asylum 13 Ogre. That far down, the ash is holding on really well, burning evenly for sure. Flavors. Not getting a ton. Not sure if I like that candela. Um, I did notice a slight change, but not a big one. Just the habano and candela together. They're they're peppery for sure. At least uh, I know the habano part is. Still kind of a snug draw, but it's staying lit. That's more important. So I can live with a snug draw as long as it stays lit, and it, that's not a problem. I can put it down for a couple minutes and come back and 
and it's still going strong. So I'm about to go into another bit of candela there. Yeah, the, the foot aroma isn't jumping out at me. It's a little burny, a little scratchy here on the uh, throat area. But snug, but acceptable draw. Good smoke output coming out both ends. And good construction on that nice, tight, white ash. So let's keep going, see where it leads. Well, I am uh, 52 minutes into this asylum, which there's been a couple little weird little burns there, but it's, it's catching up fine with itself. I'm going to just go ahead and take the band off now because it's really loosely on there. It just wants to come off and slide off just like that. Um, I will still say the high points are the construction. Although, the wrapper right there looks like it cracked and we'll have to keep an eye on that. Um, burn line, acceptable. Draw is great. Smoke output's great. Haven't had to relight it, so all that's real positive. Uh, real big in my book. The ash is holding on big chunks coming off no problem in the ashtray. Um, flavor, there's not really much of a finish, which is fine with me, um, but there's also not a ton of flavor overall, and uh, the aroma is, well, yeah, ash just dropped off. Hmm, interesting little waft there. Peppery for sure, picking that up in the sinuses. Real peppery on the retro and a different flavor there too. That must be the candela kicking in because it's, it's different than I've ever uh, experienced before. Super peppery. This, I'm not feeling the strength yet, but I have a feeling I will. I'm about a little more than halfway into it now and it, it seems like peppery from beginning to end. But, um, so there's strength in that, in the pepperiness. Not so much strength yet in the nicotine and not loads of flavor, but good performer. Can't complain about that, so let's keep going. Well, I'm gonna wrap up this review of this Asylum 13 Ogre. Pretty far down into it, getting towards the end. It hasn't really gotten too warm yet. This is an hour and a half in, so. Pretty good long smoke for this size of cigar. So let's talk about it. Um, <clears throat> one thing I really marked it up for was, in the good way, it was that I didn't have to do any relights. And of course, right before I, I started hitting record, it went out. <laughs> so for you that haven't seen uh, this before, this is a Havana Saber. You can get them in different little logos on the top. And it's got a pointy end there, and it's really good for scraping out the old ash. And then you relight, purge, get blow out the old stuff and make sure that when you tap into the ashtray you get rid of the old ash relight it and it comes back great every time I've used it for that there's none of that bitter ashy kind of flavor it comes right back to where it was and it came back nicely a pretty even burn line good construction great draw great smoke output so as far as the performance angle it scores super high now uh, it comes down though in the flavor department. It just didn't have a whole lot. The aroma wasn't really as good as a lot of cigars that I've rated higher. Some I've rated lower because the performance was awful, but the performance was good here. The flavor was could have been better. Um, it was uh, the Habano and the Candela were fairly peppery throughout, beginning and didn't notice a whole lot of shifts in there. It slowed down in the middle third. That's why it took so long. But as you can see right now, it's still putting out lots of smoke. And it's, it's good smelling. And, and, you know, of course, I get uh, you know, accused of rating too high. And this one ends up with a 92, just based on the curve of my other uh, reviews, other cigars I've smoked. And it's, the main, like I said, the main thing that keeps it up there is the performance. 
So, uh, would I buy more? Mm, I don't know. Um, I would like to try other asylums because uh, Cigar Authority, who's obviously something I listen to all the time, they they advertise with them. They, I think they like them. Krishna Roja stuff, I usually like just about everything that he makes and blends. So, no, it's good. I uh, really appreciate a good performer. Strength-wise, yeah, there's some in there. I don't know if I would go, go as far as falling, calling it full strength, though. Now, granted, I'm, you know, sweating in here a little bit because it's just, it's warm. But also because there is, I would say medium to full on this. I wouldn't go as far as full strength. If it was thicker, ring gauge, longer, yeah, it would probably be a real butt kicker. But this is a good size for this. Get good value out of it time-wise. So once again, this is the Asylum 13 Ogre. It, Ogre it's the one with the barber pole. Can't miss it. Don't know how available they are. Uh, they're on Cigars International, so they must be. So thanks for watching. This is Chris at the Stogie Palace. I will see you next time.